Okay, then let's try question number one of the section A. So section A, question number one, you can see that this involves with the trick function. So this is a topic three question, or is derived from the topic three of your curriculum, specifically the trick function and the graph. Okay. So in order to solve this question, you have to know some basic information. So let's go over those first. So let's say we have function equation y equals a times sine b times x plus c plus d. Then this function can give us the graph that has uh, the look of something like this. Okay. Then, uh, when you have a graph like this, you always have a principal axis that goes through the center of the graph. Okay, and the length between the uh, the maximum point and the principal axis is always called amplitude, or the length between the minimum point and principal axis is also called amplitude, and one full rotation of the graph is always called period and you can calculate this value using equation 2 pi over b and this b is actually from your uh, function equation specifically the number in front of your x variable okay then let's look at question number one so we have to consider a function f of x equals a times sine bx with the a and b being a positive integer. So the following diagram shows part of the graph of f. Okay, question a. We need to write down the value of the a. So we can see that the a. We know that already the a refers to amplitude, right? So. The first number that comes in front of the uh, your function sine function or cosine function is always refers is always uh, represents the amplitude value, and you can see that the graph has a maximum point at seven, minimum point at negative seven. That means we have our principal axis that at y equals zero. That means the length between the maximum and the principal axis is your amplitude value. So question A, A value is equal to 7. Question B, I, we need to write down the period F, F. So we, means we need to find, identify the rotation, the length from the beginning to the end of the uh, one foot rotation of your graph, right? So we are referring from, from here to here. So we know that. It has a period of pi. Then we need to find the value of the b. This b refers to the b value here. And this means we can use the formula that was identified right here. So we know that uh, period, to calculate the period, it is always 2 pi over b. And we know that the period value is pi. It means it's 2 pi equals 2 pi over b. Then b value is same as 2 pi over pi. So it's 2. Then question c, we need to find the value of f of pi over 12. Then in order to solve this question, let's rewrite our function. So we know that we have function temp uh, equation f of x equals to a times sine b of x. So f of x is equal to a, which is the uh, amplitude 7 times sine b value, which is 2, and x. Okay, This is our equation. Then let's try to substitute uh, pi over 12 into our equation. Then we have a pi, f of pi over 12 equals to 7 times sine 2 times pi over 12. Then this is same as 7 times sine 2 and 12 get simplified then we have pi over 6 then using the unicircle we know that sine pi over 6 is same as 1 over 2 so this is same as 7 times 1 over 2 which is 
7 over 2. So we have found that the apple pie over 12 is same as 7 over 2. Question number 2. So this is a composite function question. So composite, right? So means, that means this question is derived from the topic 2. Then let's try question A. We need to write down the an expression for g of f of x, right? So this is same as g of f of x. That means this is same as we have to substitute the function f of x into function g of x. So we do this and this means we replace the x of the g of x with the x plus 2 and minus k squared. So means this is same as x squared plus 2x plus 4 minus k squared. You can write either of them to get the points for the question A. Then question B, given that g of, f, g of f of 4 is equal to 11, we need to find the possible value of the k. So g of f of 4 is equal to 11, right? Then this is same as uh, 4 plus 2 equals 4 plus 2 squared minus k squared and is equal to 11, right? Then we can say that uh, since this is 6, we have 36 minus k squared equals to 11. Then we can uh, solve for the k. Then we have negative k squared equals to 11 minus 36, which is same as minus k squared. Uh, it goes to minus 25, so we can change, get rid of the negative signs. Then we have a k squared equals 25, and we square root both sides. Then we have a k value equals to plus minus 5.